Did you know that Kobe Bryant originally left Adidas for Nike because of these hideous signature shoes? I mean, can you blame him? They actually look more like space boots. Kobe even reportedly paid millions to get out of his contract with Adidas. And Kobe was one of three generational type talents that Adidas dropped the ball with. Tough one for the three stripes, as Kobe would go on to ink a lucrative deal with Nike and create some of the most iconic and collectible basketball sneakers in history. It's no secret that Kobe Bryant is one of the most captivating athletes of all time. A transcending talent who will go down as one of the greatest to ever lace them up. And he's laced up some of the most popular b-ball kicks in NBA history, creating a global empire with Nike. But he was with Adidas first, so what led to the transition to Nike? Let's start all the way back in the mid-80s when a man named Sonny Vaccaro started the ABCD Youth Basketball Camp. The camp featured the best high school talent from around the country. Sonny originally gained notoriety for introducing Michael Jordan to Nike, and you guys already know how that one played out. But what some of you may not know is Michael Jordan originally wanted to sign with Adidas, but Adidas couldn't close the deal on MJ, one of the biggest mistakes in history. Fast forward to the mid 90s, Vaccaro was now working as a consultant for Adidas. So it was no question when he came across a young talented Kobe at his camp, he had to sign him to Adidas. At the time, Nike wanted nothing to do with a high school kid, so Adidas stepped in and gave the 17 year old kid a six year $48 million sneaker deal. And Kobe quickly became the face of Adidas. Now Kobe didn't get a signature shoe until his second season. Through his rookie year, Adidas had him sporting the top 10 2000s and the top 10 2010s as part of their campaign promoting their footwear technology called Feet You Wear. He also rocked the fire EQT elevations, which he famously wore when he won the 1997 dunk contest. Fellow rookie Allen Iverson got his first signature shoe right out the gates. It was time Kobe got his. And sure enough, just at the start of Kobe's second season, Adidas dropped the KB8s, which would later go on to be known as the Crazy 8s. His third season saw the release of the KB8s, followed by the KB8s, until Adidas stopped using the Feet You Wear technology due to legal issues. And that's when things took a turn. In his fifth season, Adidas got bold and combined sneakers with the automotive industry. Kobe's next signature shoe, the Kobe Ones, were modeled after the Audi TT, which was also one of Kobe's first cars in the league. Kobe had much success in the Kobe Ones, rocking them during his first championship run in 2000. The unconventional aesthetic of the Kobe One paved the way for Kobe's next signature shoe and possibly the ugliest shoe in sneaker history, the Kobe Twos. There's no way these were meant for a basketball player to wear. Maybe an astronaut. They were clunky, dull, and overall unappealing. The only good part about these shoes were they were part of Kobe's best commercial ever. You gotta give Adidas credit for thinking outside the box, but then they created a box and slapped them on Kobe's feet. Kobe was reportedly unhappy with the Kobe 2s and decided to switch back to the Kobe 1s for their next finals run in 2001. And that's when Kobe decided to buy his way out of his Adidas contract and move on. Kobe was a sneaker free agent for the entire 2002-2003 season and could be seen rocking many different player edition sneakers. And then, in June of 2003, Nike made their third best business decision ever. They signed Kobe Bryant to a sneaker deal. This was at a time when Kobe was in some legal issues and sponsors were dropping him. When the legal issues were addressed, Nike and the Mamba went on to create one of the most innovative lines of sneakers ever. They started with the Kobe ones and they never looked back. Kobe had his greatest season stats-wise ever and even dropped 81 points in the Kobe ones. He would also become one of the first players to ever release low top basketball sneakers, a style that would revolutionize the industry. And he even rocked some of the highest high tops you'll ever see. Demand for rare and even not so rare Kobe sneakers have skyrocketed and so have the price tags. Sellers are asking for thousands and in some cases tens of thousands of dollars for some rare Kobe sneakers. Even the hideous Kobe ones and twos are commanding a pretty penny. Kobe sneakers have become quite the collector's item, especially with the expiration of his Nike contract two months ago. Although the relationship with Nike may be coming to a close, Kobe's sneaker legacy can never be tarnished. 
It's also very possible that Kobe had plans to start his own sportswear and sneaker brand, which could be pursued by his wife, Vanessa. Whatever the future holds, Kobe Bean Bryant has left an indelible mark on the basketball sneaker world. He was a driving force in revolutionizing sneaker culture and played a massive role in catapulting Nike into the global force it is today. And to be honest, it may never have happened without the release of those disgusting Kobe 2s. We'll talk more next week on Mint Conditions.